Greetings all of you, the goods are night here, and today we're talking about a, uh, a company that doesn't suck at making lights, as opposed to the last video. Today we're talking about Surefire, and particularly the XC1. Now, the key thing to note here is that this is actually the XC1 Bravo. So the original version, the XC1, had a 90 minute battery life with uh, 200 lumens, whereas this one has a whopping 300 lumens. That's a big number. It's not really a big number. We got like thousands of lumens now, but we'll be talking about that here in a minute. So, see XC1 Bravo, 300 lumens, 45 minute runtime, all on a single AAA battery. So, got your two normal little nubs here, and you got your little attachment point. The attachment point is pretty unique. These uh, two little rhombuses push up and under the uh, bottom of the gun, while the uh, side little mounts stay in place and push downwards. So you get a nice little. Uh, opposite pressure sort of mount going on there. All from this little hex screw. So battery compartment, light up here, and yeah, 300 lumens. So it's not dark out, it's on close to the end of the day, and it's overcast, but 300 lumens. Pew. Looks like that. This one you get a little tap, it'll stay on. You hold down, release, on, off, and of course you got the button on the side that you could push for a constant on. So very small, very lightweight, very uh, very simple light system. So this mounts pretty effectively onto Glock 19s, which it almost feels designed for. So a few pros and cons. The biggest pro to mounting this onto a handgun is uh, it looks really professional. It gives you a bit of uh, compensation control. And that little battery nub pushes out just past the barrel of the uh, Glock 19 and gives you a little buffer against dead space. Now, or a dead trigger, I mean, when the tr it fails to reset all the way and then you can't get the trigger pull. So, the um, the downsides is you need proprietary holsters. Um, in an EDC situation, you don't want to be checking every bump in the night with a uh, firearm, because it could be something completely different. And then you go to jail, you go, they go, why are you pointing that thing at me? You go, haha, it's just airsoft, guys, I'm joking. It's a, it's a prank, bro! It's... <laughs> So yeah, so very simple, small little light. So if we take that and we take our, uh, let me get this out of this holster here. So I got the Glock 19 currently in a, um, was a T-Rex arm sidecar. I'm gonna pop that free real quick. And we're just gonna mount it real quick here. So you see there's a little slot for that. Slide this guy in here, get that T-mount over it. And then we just take our little, so you're supposed to use hex screws, but I like these little star screws, these little, Star is better because they actually fit in there and always do their job as opposed to all the Allen keys I own. So, as we tighten that up, slowly but surely, we will fix our problem. Yay! So, yeah, that's in there. That's a little set. And pop. No magazine inserted. Weapon is clear. So, yeah, everything's good and Gucci good to go. So, doesn't take up a lot of space. Looks pretty good. Inside it in pretty easy. It gives you a little light. So, you do need to use this with the, um, if you are going to use a holster for concealment purposes, Raven Concealment does make a special holster solely for that. And it even works with the uh, Red Dot Sight or Hollow Sun, Trigicon, whatever you're using on your hand kind of choice. So, simple setup, pretty easy. Uh, good amount of pros and cons. And yeah, just a really simple, basic light if you're into that. Now, personally, I haven't found a lot of uses for this light in general. I mean, the 300 lumens is definitely above the 150 bare minimum I'd use on a weapon mounted light and it does work decently indoors but I think the uh, was it the X300 series or the X300 Vampire particularly for use with nods and generally is the more powerful light that works with the uh, so the 6390 RDS Safari Lent holster is probably going to be the way to go so neat light nonetheless works decent does what it wants what it wants to do and it gives you a light in a very small compact package so yeah, neat, simple, red dot, yeah, so, that's cool, I like that, but um, ultimately I think I would get a lot more use of an X300, so I'll probably end up selling this light off, so I know, and uh, full disclosure of those, all my videos, I, um, I don't get it, I don't have any sponsorships, all this stuff is purchased with my own money, none of it is sent to me for free, so, there you guys go, so, um, that being said, I do want to take this opportunity. There is a Patreon. I wanted to make a little quick little shout out to my two Patreon subscribers, DarkMagic96 and uh, the Weepy Lamb. Weepy Lamb being another YouTuber out here who does a lot more airsoft than I do. But cool guy. And uh, DarkMagic96 edits the videos. And always in the comment section down below, although she hasn't 
Had a chance to edit any videos lately, no fault of her own. It's mostly because I film them and then upload them immediately, so... I didn't get another project video going, so I can help her out. I can have her uh, edit some of that stuff. So, all that said, the ending note for today's video is um, the uh, Constitution of the United States is uh, pretty Gucci, and especially the uh, Bill of Rights, uh, the Second Amendment. Politicians don't seem to like it, so what you need to do is call your politician. Lots of mean names for one, but also call your politician and tell them they suck. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm going to use a little hand light. For EDC purposes, a little, um, little light. I mean, it's good to use before you start pulling the trigger, because you're not going to do any, like, serious eye damage with his family, but also it could be, uh, could be the bad guys, and you get that notification. But then, more importantly, you can also just do this. And there's your illumination. So, yeah. Um, lots of purposes. But it could also be the ATF kicking in your door, because they're infringing on said. Bill of Rights, Constitution, Second Amendment in particular, and a lot of politicians in the modern day say that the um, Second Amendment, as well as most of the Constitution, is only supported by dirty, dirty terrorists. And, um, I mean, we're, we're not. We don't want to. We're, this is Bill of Rights. And, you know, your unalienable God-given rights. But, you know, they're calling, they're calling people who support that terrorist. And, uh, I mean, I don't identify as a terrorist. I mean, I mean that would be terrible, but... You know, to each their own. So, you know, cheer, stay chivalrous, um, stay out of trouble, and uh, if it is the ATF watching, <laughs> that's a joke, guys. <laughs> so, that's all I got for you guys. All right. Uh, skit was stupid. It wasn't as funny as I thought it was, but we're going to upload it anyway, because I don't care. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.